Hi, this is Nellie's Farm. It is July 4th, 2023. Happy Independence Day, everybody. I worked 60 hours last week again, and I am just now really going through my garden, and I'm finding so much. My little chocolate cherry sunflowers opened up, but a lot of them got bent over. But I have the tall, tall Russian sunflowers. Also, I've been planting those every year for the bees and for the birds. I have so much that I don't even know what to do with it all. I need to look into how to preserve some of this. Here's my self-heal patch, which is spreading by itself very, very well. But I have to weed it. So I'm going to make a tincture with self-heal, and I'd like to do a separate quick video on that. Um... As far as uh, telling you the properties and benefits. This is my first um, time growing it. I started the plant last year and I transplanted it this year. But I wanted to talk about self-heal. Or I mean, I'm sorry, Swiss chard. I planted the Swiss chard in a box. This is the first time I've done this. And basically, as you can see, a lot of them are missing the tops. I just snip them off or just pull them off. And eat them and they grow back. I put them up in a box um, because of rabbits and such. And they're so easy to grow and they're beautiful. There's many varieties of Swiss chard too, by the way. But these would be a great replacement for bread. Some of the leaves grow very big and you can wrap your sandwich in them instead of bread. Bread is so toxic for the body. I generally do not eat anything like that. But these, these uh, could be used as wraps. Not only nutritious, but beautiful and cheap. So I just wanted to share this with you. But something else really quick. My son Rick put up this bed spring for my cucumber vines to grow. These cucumbers are amazing. The size of them. As well as, I mean, the amount of them. I just can't believe this all that I have this year. There's too much to show you guys, actually. But look what I've picked so far in about a half hour. Those three zucchini are huge, and they came just from one plant. And in the basket are cucumbers. There's two different types of yellow squash there, but I have so much more. My tomato plants were late, um... But uh, I have some green tomatoes that aren't ripened yet. I have to go through here and uh, and do a lot of work. A lot of it has to be weeded by hand, which I don't mind. I've got some collards over there, too. Just wanted to share this with you. I used some fertilizer to help uh, my two peach trees that looked really bad, those baby peach trees. They sure are perked up now. We didn't have hardly any rain, and then just rained all at once. That's Alabama for you. But we've got plenty of rain now. Just wanted to share this with you. My pokeberries are almost ripe, too. I'll probably do another separate video on those. Nellie's Farm signing off. Happy 4th. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful holiday. Thank you for watching. Please share and hit the thumbs up on my videos.